shot. First Hootie Series tournament of the year. Looking to pull off the practice I've been working on and just the mechanics and things I've been working on and really put my my game to the test. First all here, type palm four. It's a really downhill hit. A good first tee shot of the day, but then um, just a really poor swing into the hazard. But this is a part of my game that I've really been working on. It's like these 40 to 15, 60 yard pitch shots. So I'm um, just my confidence has gotten a lot better with those and um, hit a decent shot here wasn't trying to focus on my score for this hole just trying to worry about getting something on the green too but getting out of there dog leg right here par four I have to move the ball left to right no matter what on this tee box so really my mind I'm just trying to Hit something dead straight because my natural ball flies is a draw. Good first driver swing of the day. Piped it. Stress free. No one down in the fairway. Here, downhill approach shot had about 120. Just a nice easy gap wedge. Going right at the flag. This is a really good shot. Throwing darts. Good to have these kind of holes where you hit one good shot and then you hit another good shot and just keep building off of that. Yeah, I knew this putt was going to be pretty fast. Wanted to give it a chance, but gave it a little much. But doing a lot better at cleaning up for our pars. Good, solid par there. Hit a 7-iron off this tee box. This hole usually plays a little bit long with the water and the wind in your face. Good strike. Good solid tempo on this swing. Just ended up going on the front right part of the green. Leaving myself an uphill putt. Trying to get better at hitting more greens of regulation so that I could have more stress-free pars and not have to get up and down as often. I feel like I did a really good job at um, understanding the speed of the greens early on instead of uh, wasting time trying to get the speed dialed in so good positive note from that tough tee shot here on this par 5 there's OB on both sides of the fairway specifically up the right you can't really see the landing zone so I had to put a good swing on this pretty safe thought it would draw actually ended up fading it but we are in play so that is a good thing here I was in that rough stuff. I think I just took too much club trying to lay up and up pulling it left. Lucky that it didn't go out of bounds. But then again, just laying up on a par five shouldn't have to worry about a really bad lie. I should just put myself in the fairway. Um, end up going under that one. Leaving it short and then just catching this bunker shot slightly thin. This is a tough part of my game for me. Not a good shot. But... And then here interesting play with the five where I did not start it high enough. I should have looked at the other kid in my group, um, his putt, because it just totally took off and did not stop rolling once it got the momentum. But um, I took that and really looked at where my ball rolled when it came back down to read this putt. Just didn't have the speed, had the right line. Silly making a double bogey when I kept it pretty much in play for the whole entire hole so but we moving on and just focusing on this next shot 
slight dog leg left here. Don't need to hit much off the tee. Um, hit a dead straight five wood. I usually tend to draw all my clubs, especially this one. So I'm actually um, happy that I hit this really straight. And then here is where my course management has really gotten better. I really, I had a ton of time to just sit there and look at my lie, pick the right club choice. I knew that this green um, tends to play longer hitting into it. Really happy with the outcome of that shot. Glad that I committed to that. And then here, it's funny because I actually hit this putt like way softer than I originally planned to and it still ended up taking off once it got to the hole. Scared this putt, just barely grazed the edge, but after making such a great decision on that approach shot, three putting for bogey, it's kind of like, well, this is where the scoring needs to get better. But this is why we look back and take notes on these kind of things. Short par five. I've learned my lesson um, playing a tournament here before I hit driver and going out of bounds over on the right. So I hit three wood, perfect little draw down the middle and still only had 190 into this par five. In my mind, I picked the exact landing zone. Nice little five iron here. The front left pin, I know that it's just gonna carry off that slope. This is literally like the perfect shot that I imagined in my head, so. Getting better. Getting better at executing these. Getting better, oh stay. <laughs> Walking up to this putt, I had to tell myself, this is just a normal putt, this has no meaning. It's not an eagle putt, just read it and hit it like you would any other putt and really took my time but didn't overthink it put a good roll on it with good speed ended up reading it perfectly nice making the eagle first ever eagle um i'm not used to making those so the celebration needs some work but um good hole there This is where mental part of my game needs to get better. I made really great contact. I just pushed the crap out of it out to the right. When in reality, I had tons of room to even miss left. Um, like, it, like this second provisional here was literally perfect. Like this is what I should have done the first time. It's because I trusted my ball fly and I trusted my line. Or, whereas I got over the first one, I just didn't fully get to it. So I ended up having to play the provisional 60 yard shot here. Really been working on this. Kind of blind downhill, you can't really see. It's crazy hitting four iron and having 70 yards in. So I, again, it's just silly making double bogeys when I have four iron and then not even full swing on par four. So if we completely remove the first tee shot this would have been a stress-free par on the scorecard but because of the decision making we're adding two extra strokes which is a lot when it comes up to adding them up at the end of the day but this is where i feel like i've also gotten better is not letting these holes affect me um not worrying about my score where i am good club choice here took my time hit a good confident shot up on the green, give myself an uphill putt for birdie. Really analyze the other kids in my groups, their putts going down the hill the other way. Put a good roll on it, had the right line, just barely grazed the edge, but again, I'm perfectly fine with tapping in these pars. Pretty straightforward pull up here, uphill. Just a slight baby draw, a little tie off the tee, but for the most part, pretty, pretty simple shot here. Good fairway finder three wood. And here I thought that the elevation would actually play longer. I tried to hit a little knockdown gap wedge and just pulled it left. Um, I do think it was the right yardage, but. Um, um, got relief here, really trying to work on uh, my touch around the greens. Not a bad chip, just not giving myself a, a very great opportunity to make par here. So just a silly bogey. 
these are the ones that add up at the end of the day, but can't really beat yourself up. Wide open start to this back nine. Um, I caught this one a little low on the face, but it ended up rolling out um, pretty far, so it was dead straight. Not the best contact, but we're in the fairway with the wedge in our hand. That's all we can... We can't be mad about this. Didn't really quite get through this wedge shot here. Now that I'm looking back on it, I just... I gotta get better at not having 20 plus footers for birdie when I have lob wedge in my hand on a pretty straightforward approach shot. But, two putt pars won't hurt ya. This is a hole where you just kind of look back on and you tell yourself you want to forget it, but then you really have to understand why these kind of pulls happen and how they affect the rest of your round. Instead of having the mindset of, I'll go hit a mediocre shot, get up to it, and just try to get the hole done and over with, and then end up making a bigger score because you just want to get out of it. Versus, okay, need to regroup. <laughs> that was a tough whip route. I need to regroup. Like, forget about these other shots and put 100% into every single shot because I made this 160 yard par 3 like way harder than it had to be. And then I do an even better thing by, I guess, topping a drive on a par 5. Just trying to get something back out and play in the fairway. In my mind, I'm thinking. I'm just trying to make bogey here. Par and birdie is not in the equation. Even this, I'm I'm laying up because I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm gonna put myself up in a position to where I can still um, put up a, diff, a decent score on this hole. This is a good wet shot here. Going right at the pin, committed swing. And then here, this was a tricky putt to read, kind of a double breaker. Um, just barely doesn't slide in. But we end up making bogey on a hole where it could have been a lot worse. And I feel like especially after that last part three, um, not compounding on those big mistakes is really important. Just getting through these stretch of holes was tough because I don't hit a really bad drive. It's not like amazing, but it's just going left of the tree line and it takes forever to find my ball. But luckily we found it in this rough stuff. This was a really good swing. Like I just 100% committed to the line, like accepted. Yeah, it's going to come out hot. Like just got to get through it and on a hole where I'm lucky enough to even find my ball I have these chances for birdie so I'm kind of bummed this didn't go in a lot of putts that just didn't drop away. but then again um, good job of taking the opportunity uh, when I could have been scoring a lot higher in the hole Really focused in on an exact target here on this this hole, and I think that's why I had a really good drive um, right down the middle. I actually ended up going a little too far into the rough, but um, good swing here. Just attacking yeah. pins, getting it anywhere on the green has been a really big confidence booster for me because I struggle a lot with it. So <laughs> having two birdie putts slip out in a row is it's tough but I know that if I keep doing this and I keep having holes where I hit a good drive I hit a good 
approach shot and I hit a good putt, I'll have less of those big scores and big numbers. This will actually end up playing a lot longer. Um, not the best strike on this iron shot here. Ends up coming up short, but I'm, I'm using my prior knowledge from playing this course. And I know that I'm going to need a club with uh, less loft to really get through this and use the green to run it out. Hit a pretty good chip there. Just taking advantage of past experience and really reading the lie, making sure that I give myself the best um, plan to execute a shot. In my mind, even though it's a longer putt, these putts are makeable. Like, obviously I'm scaring the hole. Um, I'm not mad with having eight feet, 10 feet for par on this hole, because I know it's a pretty straightforward putt. I can make it. Again, silly bogey, but fours aren't bad at the scorecard. I've learned, again, with prior experience that hitting driver with this hole is not advantage so I'm going with my trusty through it I've been hitting good all day which sets me up for a great shot like this really great swing this is this one felt really good just laying up towards the left side give myself a good angle to the screen this is a tough pin location though I had to hit a, a high 50 yard shot over this bunker that you'll eventually see and I landed it just a little too, it just came a little too hot on that down slope, just rolled out quite a bit. This is a tough um, pin location, but we're putting for birdie. Not exactly where we want to be on the green, but um, interesting. I thought this putt would break a lot more to the left considering how crazy the slope was. And then another lip out, just Some of these putts are getting away from me, but there are a lot of other things today that I could have made up for, like, except for those putts, you know? This drive was absolutely mashed. This is probably one of my best tee shots of the day. And it sucks because, I don't know if you saw it, my ball was actually in a dip. So I had to hit down on it a lot. It's, it just, again, having a wedge in and then leaving myself a really hard putt. I thought this would be a lot faster coming down that hill, but actually it goes downhill and then goes back uphill, which confused me. So then in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, this putt right here isn't very makeable. I'm trying to eliminate the possibility of a four putt here. Just get out of there with a the bogey. Carry on. Final hole of the day. Um, pretty straightforward tee shot. Just relying on my trusty ball flight, my draw. That club has been good to me. I've not really had to tweak it much, change it much, so um, good, nice drive down the middle. And like I said, again and again, just working on club choice and commitment and really working on these shots is still the number one thing you need to work on. But um, just can't give myself these super long lag putts. And then this putt just snapped like crazy when I got over and hit it. So a lot of lip outs today and burnt edges and um, a lot of missed opportunities. But that's also a lot of things that we can learn from and to build off of. <laughs>